Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome to your fourth React tutorial and in this video I want to talk about props. Okay, so as you can see I've already run npm start so that's bundled everything together using webpack and we can now view it in a browser. I'm at port 1234, we specified this before as well. So we're going to talk about props in this tutorial. Now what are props? Props are a way for us to pass data into our components which we want to display on the web page to the user. Because normally when we're writing an application we're not just going to create components which are just static HTML because what would be the point? We want to create components which may take some data and output them, dynamic components if you like. So the way we do that is by using firstly props and also states which we're going to talk about later but first of all props. So props just stands for properties and they're very much like HTML properties much like you find on HTML tags such as the href prop or the source property. So we're going to create our own custom property on this component tag right here and we're going to pass it some data so that we can then use it within this component. So how do we do it? Dead simple we just make up a property name first of all so I'll call this message and we set that equal to something that we're going to pass in to this component. Now this is just going to be equal to a string to begin with, so I like cheese, which I very much do. So we're passing this string now into this component, and we can reference it in this component. So how do we reference it? Well, let's create another p tag here first of all, and we're going to output it right here. So first of all, when we're outputting any kind of dynamic data or variable, we use curly braces like that and we output them inside here. That's how we do it in React. And then what we do is say this to reference this component first of all, and this component has a property on it called props. Okay, so this grabs all the properties available in this component. Now at the minute it's just this one message. So we say props.message, and that there, my friends, is a reference to this thing here. So by writing this, we're actually outputting this string okay so let's save it and check it out in a browser so we'll come over here and now you'll see I like cheese on the browser cool so let's do something a little more complex instead of this we'll create a variable down here and I'm gonna call this my cheese and I'm gonna set it equal to an object so it's gonna have a name property and we'll give this a name of camembert I think that's spelled correctly and then we'll give it a smell factor. And the smell factor is going to be extreme pong. All right. And then finally, we'll give it a price property. And this is going to be, I don't know, 350. Okay, cool. So now we'll want to pass this variable into this property instead of this thing. Um, and we can pass multiple properties in. So instead of deleting that, let's instead pass another one through. And I'm going to call this cheese, this property. I'm going to set it equal to. And again, when we're referencing a variable, we use these curly braces. Okay? So we'll say my cheese, like that. So we don't use these quotation marks anymore. When we're inputting some kind of variable or object, we use the curly braces, then the name of that variable. Okay, so now we can access this prop in this component. So I'm going to get rid of these dudes, first of all. And I'm going to do a p tag then strong and then I'm going to say cheese name and I'm going to set this equal to this to reference the component dot props to reference or to grab our properties that are available to us so now I could reference either message or cheese and I'm going to say cheese and then I want a specific property from the cheese prop which is the name so I can say cheese dot name make sense Cool, so let's copy that and paste it down a couple of times so we can reference each one of these things here. So then I'll say cheese smell factor and I'll set that equal to this.props.cheese.smell factor and then finally we want the cheese price and that is going to be price here as well. Okay, so now we've created a variable which is an object, we've input that here using our custom property name cheese. So then we have access to this prop within the component. We access it via this.props, then the property name, 
which is cheese in this case, and then we're cycling through each of the properties on that object. Make sense? Okay, so let's save that and check it out in a browser again. This time it's all outputting cheese name, camembert, cheese smell factor, etc, etc. Cool. So that has all worked now. So that's how we use props. That's how we input them into a component like this on the component tag. And that's how we reference them from within the component. So any questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, don't forget to share, subscribe and like. And I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.